Thousands of West Virginians are being denied SNAP benefits every year, all because of an aged federal law. But now state lawmakers are working on changing that. 13 News reporter Adrian Robbins joins us now live in the studio with one woman's story and how this legislative session could actually change everything for her and people like her, Adrian. Absolutely. Pat and Jennifer, the House has multiple bills this legislative session that focus on what they call re-entry issues, barriers that people working for a second chance face as they come out of jail or rehab. One bill in particular will help people with one of the most basic needs, food. Forever, like, can I, this, will this ever go away? Will I ever have to quit answering to this? Tracy has made mistakes, most of them because of her addiction. It was a, a meth lab charge is what I, I got. But she had no idea one of those mistakes would make her pay for life. In 2009, I caught a um, drug charge. Tracy would complete her sentence and graduate from drug court, but her punishment for receiving a drug felony was far from over. With that drug charge is why I couldn't, you know, get the food stamps. For years, Tracy and thousands of West Virginians have been denied SNAP benefits all because of a federal law from the 90s created during the war on drugs. The law banned felony drug convicts from receiving food assistance. Fact is, yeah, I have a drug problem, but it plays no part in me being hungry, too, you know? Most states have opted out of the law, or at least eased on it. Three states haven't. South Carolina, Mississippi, and West Virginia. And we thought it would be it was overdue for us to uh, remove it and opt out of that prohibition. Here at the West Virginia State Capitol, lawmakers are working on making things easier on Tracy and people like her who desperately want a second chance. House Bill 2459 is a, a very strong bipartisan bill um, that would um, eliminate the lifetime ban on SNAP benefits, formerly known as food stamps, um, from persons who have drug felonies um, but have done their time. Delegate John Schott from Mercer County is sponsoring the bill that will lift the lifetime ban this legislative session. It was really an impediment, especially to people who've gone through recovery programs and really are sincere about trying to get back on track. Tracy knows all about falling into old habits. After being denied aid, Tracy would end up stealing and forging checks, all to get something to eat. I couldn't find my way. I couldn't make my way, um, which, you know, big, long, sad story. I've done exactly what led me, you know, back out there to begin with. With the drug epidemic affecting more and more people in the Mountain State, Tracy is far from alone. Unfortunately, a, a very significant portion of our population has fallen into this problem, and, and it's important that we try to help those folks get back back uh, into productive society. House Bill 2459 passed the House with a unanimous vote last week and is now heading to the Senate. When I heard that it passed, amazing. Tracy has gone through the Recovery Point program and has a good job now, so she doesn't need the benefits anymore. But she knows someone out there does. And if I can inspire somebody, they can do this, what I've done, that's all that matters to me.